Welcome. We are presenting today a novel algorithm to predict embryo implantation probability using IVF time-lapse imaging of developing embryos. This research is the result of a collaboration between the Clinic of Reproductive Medicine, Nadia, Professor Alex Bronstein from the Department of Computer Science at the Technion, and Embryonics, a startup company funded in part by the Israeli Innovation Authority. In in vitro fertilization, the natural fertilization process is replaced by a manual one, where the sperm is used to fertilize the egg outside of the human body. Prior to transfer to the uterus, embryos are assessed manually by embryologists. This process attempts to select for the most viable embryo in order to maximize the probability of successful implantation, a necessary step on the path to a successful pregnancy. The grading of embryos has not evolved much in the 40 years since the invention of IVF. Morphological and morphokinetic events are manually recorded and various scoring systems are used to predict implantation. This process is labor intensive and highly subjective and conveys poor success rates, averaging at 30% globally. Most previous attempts of using data-driven methods for time-lapse video processing were focused on predicting known morphological features, blastocyst formation, or the embryologist grading itself. These approaches are suboptimal as they rely on scoring systems that are inherently subjective and assume that historically defined metrics best correlate to implantation prediction. UBAR is an algorithm designed to improve the success rates of IVF by accurately predicting the probability of implantation from videos of the developing embryos. For the development of the algorithm, more than 8,000 time-lapse videos of embryos were used, approximately 300 of which had known implantation data, which was the ground truth for the model. UBAR is an end-to-end -end network designed to predict implantation probability. There are several key design principles to this network. Unsupervised methods were used to leverage all time-lapse videos through the use of an autoencoder. Training consisted of 8,000 embryo video files. Upon completion of this stage, videos are embedded as a time series of one-dimensional vectors. 4,000 embryos were then graded by an expert panel of embryologists. These were then used to initialize a network that, given a time series of embeddings as the input, predicts the embryologist's grade. This was done in order to prime the model to detect biologically relevant features. Subsequently, a new set of approximately 300 time-lapse videos labeled with known implantation data were used to retrain the prediction network and validate blindly on 10% left out samples. Using tenfold cross-validation, predictions were generated on all of the videos without training on them. UBAR demonstrated state-of-the-art results when compared to any previous publication that we are aware of, and better than any expert embryologist involved in the research. Specifically, in any binary classification metric, UBAR significantly outperformed the embryologists. Importantly, both UBAR and the best performing embryologists performed significantly better than random. For positive and negative predictive values, widely considered important clinical parameters, UBAR improved on the panel's performance by 12 and 29% respectively. Furthermore, the area under the ROC curve, which in this instance is a proxy to UBAR's ranking ability, was considerably larger at 82% compared to 58% for the embryologist's average score. This study demonstrates that our embryo implantation prediction model outperforms a panel of expert embryologists. The ultimate goal is for UBAR to be used as an assistive tool by embryologists to improve implantation success and therefore pregnancy and live birth rate in IVF. These results were achieved with a relatively small data set. A large and more balanced data set should be used to further validate our approach. Introducing maternal clinical parameters such as age and BMI is likely to further improve prediction performance. In future research, we intend to report the prediction confidence and trace it back to the input visual content. This will increase the system's clinical viability. Thank you for your attention. Please contact us by email for any further inquiries.